So here we're going to have drawn a ratio rectangle. This rectangle represents opinions. We can say in the specific case, opinions used when teaching. Now opinions can consist of personal feelings and knowledge. On the right hand side of the rectangle, if our opinions lie more to the right hand side, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, then that's an opinion consisting mostly of personal feelings. If it's on the left hand side, then that's an opinion consisting mostly of knowledge. Now the thing with acting training is that a lot of it is very ambiguous. That means that opinions used when teaching acting are mostly based on personal feelings rather than knowledge. Now we draw this diagonal line here and we're going to draw another dotted line that represents an opinion based mostly on personal feelings and a little bit on knowledge. See that from the top of the rectangle to the diagonal line is knowledge and from the diagonal line to the bottom of the rectangle that's personal feelings. On the other side here, this is an opinion based mostly on knowledge. You see from the top of the rectangle to the diagonal line is knowledge, and from the diagonal line to the bottom of the rectangle, that's personal feelings. Now, of course, we want to be teaching moreover to the left-hand side of this rectangle, teaching with opinions based more on knowledge. Because knowledge breeds knowledge, gives you points of reference. With points of reference, you can build your skill, and you can progress, and you can improve, and that leads to a fulfilling profession, and therefore, a fulfilled life. And that's what the science of acting aims to do, to teach using opinions based mostly on knowledge rather than personal feelings.